when you're installing a new hard drive, be it a regular hard drive or an SSD drive like this in a computer, you've got two choices. You can either put the hard drive in as it is, blank, and then reinstall your operating system and then reinstall all your programs, or you can use a cloning kit. And in this instance, we're going to use a cloning kit. So on that end, we've got the SATA connections that connects to the SSD. And then on the other end, we've got a USB connector. And we've also got a disk which contains the cloning software. Now, unfortunately, this laptop doesn't actually have a, an optical drive on it, so we can't actually use that disk. So I've had to transfer all the contents of that disk and put it onto a USB pen. Which is now plugged in. And then before we touch the SSD, we're going to put the anti-static wristband on. And we're just going to remove that from the bag. And I'm just going to get the cable the correct way around and we're going to plug that directly into there. And once that's plugged in, we can now plug that end into the USB port on the computer. So we've now got the USB pen connected with the correct drivers on and the software for doing the data transfer. And we've also got the SSD connected via the USB cable there. And you'll also notice that we've got the power cable plugged in. And whenever you're cloning an hard drive, that's a very important thing. It's essential that you do that because if your battery goes flat during the cloning process, it can make a real mess of your computer. So now all we need to do is open this up and boot it up. So we'll just go to the USB drive. And we'll just click on auto run. Then we can close that down and then we'll click on run easy gig 4. And we'll just say yes to that. And then we can just start the easy gig program. So all we need to do is accept that. And click on let's get started. And then we need to select the source drive, which is that one, and click on next. Then we need to click on the destination drive, which is that one, and then click next. And then we need to go into advanced options. If your computer is running Vista or Windows 7, you need to click on the 4K alignment button, and then click on apply changes and then click on next and then just click on start clone and then it's just telling you that the destination drive will be overwritten completely so you can either abort it or start copying obviously we need to start copying so we'll click on that So now it's going to make a perfect copy of the existing hard drive and copy it onto the SSD. So now we can just close that down and then we can just click on quit easy gig. So now we're just going to shut the computer down. So I've now got the anti-static wristband back on again just as a precaution and now I'm going to actually unplug the laptop because we don't need it plugged in anymore. 
So now we're just going to turn the laptop over. And then we've got eight screws that we need to remove and then we can take this panel off. So they're all loose now so we can just lift up that cover and we can just put that there. So we're now just going to unplug the battery pack which is this connector here. That'll make sure that no power actually gets through to the computer. And now we need to undo these three screws. So once we've undone the three screws, if we just pull this tab. So that's the actual laptop hard drive in its caddy. And before we can continue, we need to pull that bit off the front there, which is the interposer. So we'll just pull that bit off and now we have to remove these four screws, two on each side. And then we can just take the hard drive out of the caddy. And then we can put the SSD in there and it should only fit in the one way around so that the interface is there where the tab is. So now we just need to replace the four screws. And then we can plug the interposer back in again. Then when we've done that we can just put the SSD back into the actual laptop. and then just tighten the three captive screws and then once we've done that we can then plug the battery back into the motherboard and then it's just a case of putting the cover back on so there's two locating lugs there once we've located those, if we just push it down and then all the screws are captive so they're all actually in position and you can actually pull the screws out so we just need to tighten those up now where they actually are so once we've got the back cover back on we can then turn the laptop back over